Hello guys, welcome again to Need Tech Tips and it's nice to have you back on the channel. In today's video, we're going to be looking at how to install WordPress on Namecheap. So I'll just sign into my Namecheap account to show you how to go about the installation. So right from here, I'm going to come to hosting list. Okay, so on the left, um, sorry, on the right flank here, we can see go to cPanel. So I just click on that. Okay, so as you can see, we are being redirected to the cPanel account. So from inside of the cPanel, you can now have the um, Subtaculous app installer that allows you to install quite a number of software on your um, hosting account so in some situations you don't get to have this softaculous app installer sometimes it's usually around them um, somewhere here so but it's all good it's all good that we have we have it here we have it here so you can just go ahead and click on this one and as well you can make use of this one right here this one so we just we just go ahead with um, this one as you can see the latest version of wordpress is version 5.7 so we leave it as 5.7 then here we we are going to set the domain in a situation you have more than one domain on your hosting account you want to select the particular domain name that you like to you want to select the particular domain name that you like to install wordpress on so you leave this if if you want to install wordpress on the on the root directory i'll be adding something here because i've already have a, a website installed in the root directory so i'll just add something so that it doesn't overwrite my current installation okay so the next thing is to name the next thing is to name our, our website or our blog so I'll just go ahead and see. And then we're going to give um, our website a little bit of description so that the search engine can know what the website is all about. So I'll just go with that description. The next thing is the the next thing is the admin account basically we are going to be creating the username and password that we will be using to access um, the administrative um, aspect or the administrative area of the website once it is installed so I just go ahead and create the username and then the password I'll, I'll select something that um, a little bit private something that I feel is secure and I can I can always remember Okay, so for me, that's it, and we just copy that out, or probably um, write it somewhere, or save it up somewhere, so that um, you can always have it whenever you need to log into your website. But if you can just add it, if you can just um, mind the password and username, that would be cool. So the next thing is the admin email. Basically, you can you can put your primary email here, or you can put your corporate email as well, provided that. You have already created the email. Um, you have already created the email from the cPanel, but in a situation you have not, you need to create this email before you go ahead, so that um, you don't miss any form of any form of information sent to the email. So the next thing we are going to be doing is to click on. It's just to um, click on a few a few options right here depending on what we want for me i will not be going with lognizer and i will want, still want the classic editor and then the w322 cage I will, I will not be wanting that as well so it's just about uh, just you know um a few plugins that can that can be used to enhance your website they are not much a big deal about them because even after the installation you can always re remove them or probably replace them with something else uh, as you want so 
you can always just leave them out and go ahead with the, with the installation so basically we can leave this aspect out as well because um for me i will not be seeing any team here i want to just install my website then from there i will decide what team or what solution is best for the design so i just go ahead and say um put my email so that i can get a couple of the the login details to the website that's another way to have your login details set up you saved up rather to have your login details saved up in your email so you want to put your primary email here so that wordpress will email you the copy of your login details so once we've done that i'll just go ahead and click on install then we'll sit back and and watch how wordpress install itself so this type of installation is called one click installation or automatic installation and there is another way that you can install wordpress on your hosting server and that is the manual method it's a little bit daunting but I want to assure you that we'll find a way to go through it in one of our next videos. So basically WordPress is already installed on our server. So to access our website, we we'll just click on this one. This is the administrative URL. As you can see, this is where you perform every tweak and every changes on your website and see what is going on. You know, talk about the welfare of the website, talk about the traffic, talk, talk about the content, talk about adding pages, removing pages everything that has to do with making changes on the website this is where you go about it this other url is the public url this is what everyone that comes to your website this is what they see so i'll just go right ahead and click on this okay guys as you can see we are now inside of our website and basically that's how to install wordpress on your website but just before i go i'll suggest that you log out of the website for me i'm using a a, a password software that saves up my password so that i don't forget them so now just um log in the first time again by adding the details and then i'm going to stick my my copied uh, password i'm going to paste it there so i'll just click on login and once i log in now you see that um, i have options to save up as you can see a last pass is already giving me option to save up my um my password so i just click on add so that subsequently when i need to log into the website i don't want to start um i don't want to start you know um so that subsequently when i need to log in i don't want to start looking for the password so guys thanks for watching if it's your first time on the channel please do subscribe to the channel and also like the video and i'll see you again in the next one thank you